Chắc các bạn hiện tại mình đang ngồi với giám đốc CEO cũng là người sáng lập thương hiệu Core Electric đến từ Anh Quốc, Mr. John Frank. Và đầu tiên thì hãy để ông giới thiệu về chính mình trước nhé. Mr. Frank, nice to see you. Thank you. And would you mind introduce yourself a little bit about yes. for our customer? Okay. Well, I'm John Franks. I'm the owner and the founder of Cord Electronics. Um, Cord was founded um, back in around 1991 um, when I went full time. Um, prior to that, I was working as a director of AT&T and a director of Raytheon, big American companies. And then prior to that, I was working in avionics. So I was an engineer working with electronics for aeroplanes. So I want to ask you a little bit about this technology which makes the Ultima the Ultima, which is the differential dual fit forward, which includes the new core electric products. Yes. So would you mind explain that to the customer? Okay. Um, well, uh, Cord have, have several technologies, but um, one, um, I, I did some research about eight years ago, and I came across some articles um, by a professor of a university um, where he um, had developed a system in pure mathematics um, that um, would um, make amplifiers um, a, a fair de degree better than anything that had been before. And it was a, <clears throat> a system called dual feed forward error correction. And basically what this does is that in an amplifier, you have many stages. Some boost the voltage and others boost the current, the power at the back. Now the, the, the power creating uh, devices or the power controlling devices in our amplifiers are MOSFETs. Um, that's metal on silicon. Um, uh, transistors. They're, they're, they're rather special, <coughs> they're rather expensive, but they have good characteristics but also some bad characteristics. So um, what the, the dual feed forward error correction does, um, in conjunction with the overall loop feedback which controls the amplifier, there are two separate amplifier stages that are continually monitoring the output of the power devices and then comparing them to the input of the power devices yes. and therefore deriving a, a differential signal that is, is um, inverted effectively and put back into the amplifier. But it's done this very, very quickly, very, very fast, very fast electronics. And it means that um, the MOSFETs uh, are much more linear uh, and, and their uh, transconductance is improved and, and many, many other factors. Their temperature differentials also are controlled more tightly. So essentially um, what happens with the amplifier is that the distortion figures are lowered uh, by around 12 to 15 dB, which is a, a very substantial amount, especially when um, you know, we already had good amplifiers. <coughs> Um, I mean, uh, we, we started uh, our amplifiers both in the professional market and also the consumer market. Yes, what, what was surprising when I um, developed the Ultima circuitry um, is that um, I, I started with the Etube, which is a quite a small amplifier, around about uh, 60 watts, um, and then went on and, and used the the topology, the design in, in other amplifiers, going right up to our Ultima One amplifiers. Um, and, and we found it, it really, across the board, um, we, we've really um, made great strides in the uh, design of, of the product. That process still goes on. I'm working on new designs um, uh, for pro applications mostly. Um, and, and it seems that whatever I can throw at this design, um, it, it's working very, very well. Thì đầu tiên cái mặt uh, hồi tiết tươi sai này được áp dụng cho cái mẫu amply đó là etude một cái mẫu amply power amp rất nhỏ thôi, mẫu amply có thể để bàn được. Thì cái mẫu amply etude này, những công nghệ Ultima này, những công nghệ hồi tiết tươi sai này, thì khi mà áp dụng lên những sản phẩm cao cấp hơn, ví dụ như dòng Pro, cái dòng những cái dòng Ultima một, những con monoblock rất lớn, hay monoblock hai này 
thì nó mang đến cái độ tiên tính cao hơn, tốt hơn so với những thế hệ trước và thực sự đây thì mình cũng xin phép là mình sẽ nói thêm về những công nghệ rất là gọi là cổ điển của cỏ electric đó là phần mùa xuân và mosfet rất nhiều. So I want to talk a little bit about the core technology of car amps because you guys also always use a switch mode power supply yes. and a huge array of parallel mosfet. Like, yes. 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 Very, yes lot amount of money. Yes, so yes. could you explain it to us uh, why you choose that method? Yes. Um, okay. Um, originally, I was a, an avionics designer working uh, mostly on f- fighter aircraft or black boxes for fighter aircraft. Now, these are air data computers and various things. Now, I, I really um, started working um, in the area of power conversion. Um, it, it, within an aircraft, normally there is a 400 cycles, three phase going around the aircraft. And then that this has to be converted down into various um, voltages for the for, yeah. yeah for the rails, for the logic. Now with, um, with, with um, the, the uh, designed in aircraft, invariably at some stage, um, the air ministry would come along and say, oh, we've changed the spec we need more digital cards in the black box and therefore you're left at the back of the black box for for a special power supply um, that is about the the size and shape of a chicken's wing. Okay, but nevertheless they say, oh by the way, we need another 200 watts from this design. Can you do it? So so at the time, this was uh, back in the uh, uh, 1980s, Uh, we were being pushed to use very advanced techniques for the time, very fast switching and very small magnetics, but very powerful magnetics. So I had this knowledge base about power supplies, and I realized that using uh, a great big donut of a transformer like everyone at the time was was using was really the wrong way to go because <clears throat> those... Uh, transformers, uh, the, the typical 50, 60 hertz transformers that every amplifier uh, were using at that time uh, was, was heavy, was um, it exuded a 50 or 100 hertz field all around it that swamped all of the electronics. So I realized there was a better way to go. And I had this knowledge base within me that I could apply. So I was able to design Um, uh, switching power supplies, which have many advantages. Um, and I was able to apply that technology, that a, a knowledge base that I had to audio, which was my audio hobby. And I, I um, was able to, uh, to make really good amplifiers for my friends and whatever. And I decided that uh, I, I, I really enjoy doing this. And although at the time I was in management and <clears throat> I was working um, for large American corporations, I, I realized that really what I wanted to do was start my own audio company. But fortunately, um, with um, my audio, uh, sorry, with, 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 the ele- with the big American companies, I was able to get a few contracts where I could go in and sort out a particular division And that allowed me a, a, a pocket full of cash that I could come out six months later and, and start my own business. So that, so that is what I did. And I started very small. I started in my garage. Fortunately, I had quite a large garage. And uh, I never looked back. I, I enjoyed it. I, I took on some staff and we grew and grew. Lastly, I want to ask you about the newest product, which is the car automatic integrated. So would you mind uh, talk about it a little bit? Yes. Um, <clears throat> I was asked to um, pr- produce a new Ultima version of our integrated. We've had integrated amplifiers for a while. Our Chinese distributor really wanted a, a new, new uh, integrated. So I decided um, th- this was in the period of COVID or just, o- just after COVID where I- I'd had a lot of time at home, as everyone did, Um, and so I set up my own laboratory and I, I started working um, on, on some new designs and some new concepts. Um, so <clears throat> I, I really enjoyed that time and uh, the, the um, uh, integrated 
is 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 one of those products that that I I, I was able to bring forward. Um, the only difference with the integrated is that I've gone for four standard power supplies as opposed to a custom. And um, I've, I've worked with the company uh, that produced the standard uh, products. We did additional testing and, and trials. Um, and then I also designed a 500 kilohertz switcher for the auxiliary rails. Um, so it's quite a complex power, power supply arrangement, but it works very well for us. Um, and it enabled me to, to make a quite densely packed unit, but with the traditional cord clarity and warmth and sound that, that um, I, I, th I think that many people have come to appreciate. So thank you for doing the interview with us today. So we have a lot of requests and uh, I won't bother you anymore. No, oh, it's wonderful. Thank we you. Lovely to, you to meet you. Yeah.